see. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <sighs> hey you guys. So this is a different video for me. It's hard because I feel like I usually know what to say, but in this instance, I just, I don't even know really what to say and I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just feel inclined to do it. So as most of you know, um, my husband and I had a miscarriage. I just wanted to talk about it. The reason being is because when I went through it, I went towards the internet because I had no clue what I was going to expect and I had no clue what happened and why it was happening to me and um, I was looking for answers and I hope and I pray that this video can maybe provide some comfort, some answers to questions to girls out there that are going through the exact same thing that I went through and going through. So we got married and decided to build a home and we got into our house. We've been traveling everywhere for a long time. We've been all over the world and all over different countries and around September, the beginning of September, mid-September, we started kind of talking about having children. And it was a little scary thought. I mean, bringing children into the world is so scary to think of. But I just heard all these horror stories of like people who couldn't get pregnant or it took like a year to get pregnant and it was so hard for first time moms and just all these things. And my husband and I just prayed about it and we just felt it was time to bring into a, a little one into this world. And what are we waiting for? And the second you make that decision and you guys know what I'm talking about if you have children or if you are trying to have children, the second you make that decision, it's like a light switch. It's you just want children so badly. I got my IUD out in October and immediately got pregnant and we could not believe it. At first it was a couple days like, oh my gosh, is this seriously happening? We're having kids? Like we don't even feel old enough to have kids. And I couldn't believe it. In fact, I did a whole entire video of finding out and recording him finding out and telling him and it was just the best feeling getting that positive pregnancy test it's just your whole world is about to change and so we found out in November um, and we were just so excited and so floored I immediately went into baby names and what sex are we gonna have and planning out what rooms we're going to move around in our home to create a nursery and it was Thanksgiving day we decided to tell our family and on the way to our family's house we called all of Kiloni's family. We called his mom and his grandparents and, and every single person was so happy his mom was bawling and it was just the sweetest thing ever we just could not believe and it was making it more real as you're telling people like ah oh, this is actually happening like what the heck and as time progressed I was experiencing a lot of the pregnancy sy symptoms like sore hips I was getting it's the weirdest thing I just wanted fruit all the time and I was getting stomach pains and it was getting to the point where like I was having a difficult time fitting in my clothes, well my jeans anyways, um, and I made sure I stayed up to my workout six days a week, kept running, kept doing weight training, I made sure I ate so healthy, I took my prenatal vitamins, I did everything I was supposed to. 12 weeks hit and we took pictures and we announced it on Facebook and we told the whole entire world. And of course it was nothing but love and I was 13 weeks and six days exactly. We had a, we had a doctor's appointment and the night before, um, I just, I was starting to get worried. And most of you guys, um, parents anyways, the moms know of the app, what to expect when expecting. And it's so fun, it tells you, oh, your baby's this many, inches long and the fingers are developed and there's a group where um, you're put into it's like a chat group that there's other moms expecting in your kind of time zone somebody posted and I read it and they were they were like 11 weeks and they said I just experienced a miscarriage just went to the doctor and they couldn't find a heartbeat I'm really sad 
I was so sick to my stomach and I, I was telling Kaloni that would be awful. I could not even imagine that. And Kaloni kept saying, babe, that's not going to happen to us. We're fine. You're out of the first trimester. We're in the second trimester. We're good. We got pregnant on our first time. You're so healthy. You eat right. All these things. I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So that morning we woke up, we went to the doctor and, um, we went in and they gave us these baby books and what to expect when expecting and all these things. And it's so exciting. And then the doctor came in, I changed into my gown and I, she was like chatting with us and we were laughing and I was just thinking in my head, I just scored huge on this doctor. She's so great. I like so amazing. And, um, I lay down on the bed and the, the assistant, the nurse turned off the lights and, um, she started doing the ultrasound and she kind of turned the monitor away from me and I immediately knew something was wrong, but Kaylomi had no idea and um, he was just so excited and he was filming and taking pictures and and then she told um, the nurse that we need to do um, a different type of uh, ultrasound where they go inside of you and I started panicking a little bit and I said, is everything okay? And she said, well, I just... I'm having a difficult time seeing the baby. I said, um, it's not like everything's not okay or everything is okay. You just have a tilted cervix. And so it calmed my nerves. I'm not kidding you when I said, I probably said 50 prayers in a row. Over and over again, just please make sure everything is okay, please. Um, I remember her telling the nurse to turn on the lights and give us our privacy and she's and I sat up and um, she put her hand on my knee and she told me that she couldn't find a heartbeat and um, that the baby wasn't alive. And I thought it was the worst nightmare I could have ever experienced in my life. What happened to me was a miss miscarriage. Um, something that's not super common. But the baby stopped growing weeks before. And um, my body had no idea. My body was just hanging on tight to that baby. And I kept experiencing all the symptoms because I still had the ECG levels and I was experiencing pregnancy like a normal, almost 14 week pregnant, pregnant woman should. Um, I kind of felt like my body was holding on to the baby, just not letting go and um, kind of fighting for it. Um, she gave us our privacy and I just looked at Kiloni and just him crying and I literally felt like somebody gut punched me so hard and it wasn't real because as anyone knows getting that positive pregnancy test it, it changes your world and you instantly love that baby you instantly want to be a better person you instantly want to do all the right things I just kept thinking like how am I gonna explain this to everyone I just announced on social media I told all my family like and at first I was so embarrassed and I just kept thinking what's wrong with me why what did I do like I eat healthy I work out I do all these things and um in actuality uh, it wasn't my fault it's something that happens to so many women but it doesn't make it any easier I'm not a doctor and um I didn't know what was going to happen from there. Kaloni and I went home and um, honestly we just cried. We just laid in bed and cried and we just kind of thought like what do we do now? Um, it was the worst news ever. I took the pill and it was 
probably the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. And I'm not a doctor, but I wish now I would have went through a DNC, which is a surgery. The pill was awful. I had the worst contractions. I was passing everything at home on the toilet. My husband and I had to stay up through the whole entire night. And I know these are gruesome details, and I'm sorry, but, you know, when I wrote this blog post, and um, it just blew up. I mean, I got hundreds of emails and from women still to this day writing and commenting and emailing me just saying, I just found out what you found out and I just went to the internet to search some clarity and, and I'm sorry for the details, but it was so awful and it was about 12 hours of non-stop bleeding, contractions, just, and when I say bleeding, I mean like... I thought I was going to die of how much blood there was. No joke. And um, it was awful. It was awful. And I wish I went through the surgery. Um, we ended up going to the ER because I was throwing up. I was about to pass out. I, and Kaylani took me and I lost a ton of blood and they had to hook me up to IVs and keep me there for a while. But. <sighs> Thereafter, I bleeded a couple weeks, like four weeks, and the difficult part has been um, dealing with the pain afterwards. It's been hard because you think, oh man, I'd be this many weeks pregnant, or I'd be this many weeks pregnant, or like right now I'd be having a baby in two months, and I still feel like it's kind of happened yesterday and I went back to work and it just seemed like life carried on. Thank goodness for the sweetest neighbors and family and friends who just wrapped us up in their arms and showed my family love. I have the best parents in the world and best family and Keone and I are so grateful for them and you know I just hope this video can create some clarity to some people that it's going to be so difficult and so hard. And as time goes on, it's not necessarily time heals wounds, but time helps you learn to grieve. Uh, I, I still grieve and for that little baby, just wish things were so different, but you can't. It's been di hard because it's not like I'm not happy for people who are pregnant. I'm so happy. But it is difficult when I see people around my pregnancy date or I have a friend who's four weeks behind me that I should look like that. And Mother's Day is today and I thought this was a good video to post because my sweet friends and neighbors came over and brought me flowers and the sweetest charm bracelet. And um, earlier today I, I thought to myself like, am I a mom? I don't have a baby and I I don't know why but I googled like are you still a mom if you carry have a miscarriage and the first thing that popped up was you are still a mother it doesn't matter whether you held a baby for two weeks you carried a baby for two months or you carry that baby till it was born, two years, 22, I don't care. You are still a mom. And I didn't need the internet to tell me that, but it was almost like I was looking for clarity. <laughs> I hope and I pray that as time goes on, I can help others more and more. There's a purpose for this, and I just, I just know if my trials and heartache can help one person out there going through the same thing. It's worth it because it's it's so hard to put yourself so vulnerable and to um, put yourself out there for the world. You're not alone and it's the worst thing and it's so awful and we should never have to go through the, that but the truth is, is it happens. To leave you on a positive note that any trial that you go through, you can either take it and go down a really good path or a really bad path. And I'm choosing to go down a good path. I'm choosing to bring light into other people's lives and 
to make something of my life to be the best person I can be and just take time to remember it's, it's okay to grieve. Never lose the hope. I hope this brought some comfort for you and some clarity and go be a better person and help other people and be the change that you wish to see in the world.